How many hats do you have with grapes on it? If you wear a hat, you probably need an attitude. I like open the hat box together with you because it's like opening a present. Wow. See, I'm so old I've forgotten what hats I have. So let's look at this one. Voila! It looks French. And the tag on the hat says $130. So I don't really need to remember the price of this hat. Most of my hats actually were, um, you know, at vintage stores that I bought probably for $10 to $30. Rarely would, would I buy a hat that was this expensive. But with this label, you know, wow. I don't smoke, but this is like a smoking hat. Voila. Mystery. Oh, unfortunately, the feathers are falling off. Now, some hats are new, and this veil is breaking. Yeah, but this is really lovely. To adhere a hat, you would either have, you know, a clip like this. See that clip? Or you would have a hat pin. So there's a whole world of hat pins. And of course, collecting hats, then I had to collect hat pins. And so... We'll start with, well, we'll start with one of my favorites, this beautiful purple um, glass. This is, uh, most of the hat pins I have are um, old, and so it's a scary looking thing. Her, sorry, is a um, salt and pepper shaker, is one of my favorites here. And then we'll just rotate that you can see some of my favorite hat pins. I probably have 60. So um, I have a little red on to match my red hat. So we have some really cool red hats coming on, right, to match the lipstick. So here we go. Voila. So I don't remember where I got this one, but I do love red. So we're going to cock the hat for a little attitude. And so this is sort of made out of plastic. The great thing about hats is, like, a little bit of a change in the angle really makes the hat somewhat different. So like somebody might choose to wear it like this, but then you can come down straight, a mystery, like hiding your eyes a little bit or tilt it. So, um, you know, I think there's people that hats really look good on you or not, but then depending on how you play with the hat, you can make it look much better. So I'm not looking at my hat now in a mirror and I don't know what looks best. So you, be the judge. Now well, this, which really doesn't fit me, it's too small, was my grandfather hat, my grandfather's hat, Michael Cohn. And so um, men wear hats, you know, in the 50s. And my God, he must have had a small head. I need events to go to so I can wear these hats. Oh, here we have a white hat. And so that hats are accessories. You must accessorize your accessories. And what a lovely way to accessorize a hat with gloves. And so we have really pretty gloves. And then the longer gloves, right? Of course, with pearl buttons. And so let's see if I can get into this. Oh, we need to wear gloves again. We need to wear gloves again. And so these do fit. I think I might have worn these to a wedding maybe even my wedding. Oh, sometimes you get these little things, so I, there probably is a name for this, but then not even having a hat, but just a hair accessory with a comb. And I don't know if this is in a good place, but I think we need to do this more often. Let's just, I think it's time to get back into hats. So maybe you will be inspired and you will start wearing hats and then we'll just start a revolution.